Hey there, I'm Sean Collins, and I'd like to thank you for stopping in and watching this edition of the Affiliate Summit for Beginners series. And if there's something that you're looking for that isn't covered here, feel free to contact me. Just shoot me an email at Sean, S-H-A-W-N, at AffiliateTip.com, and I'd be glad to cover it. All right, take care. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about affiliate link directing and cloaking. And I'm just going to go through, it's going to be a, a quick and hopefully easy sort of lesson for you. I'm going to talk about two different versions of ways you can redirect slash cloak your links. And I guess first of all, let me just uh, touch on that real quick. A lot of people like to cloak their links because some people just don't like clicking on affiliate links for whatever reason. And also redirecting is good for shortening your links. So, um, so if you want to use them maybe in an email signature or a text newsletter or some kind of place like that, then you want to have a, a link that's short as possible so you can have whatever your domain name is dot com slash and then just have like a one keyword for your affiliate link and it redirects to your affiliate link instead of having some big ridiculous long keyword or long URL. So anyway, two options I'm going to talk about today, um, one free and one paid. And I, I use the free version, which is just creating a, a HT access file. And then the paid version is a software called Ninja Affiliate. And so um, a pro and con of each a pro of HT access files is that it's a, a free option and you can do it pretty quick and easy. The con there is that when you're creating this site, this uh, file, it's um, it can be a little bit finicky. So if you have the, the smallest error in there, it can take down your entire site. So you've got to, it's essentially you test every time you make an update to it. And then with the, the Ninja affiliate, it's a, it's a cool software. A lot of big guys in affiliate marketing are using it and it is easy to use. The one con there is 97 bucks. If you don't have that kind of money to throw around, then it's not an option. But one thing that I would say to sort of counterbalance that is that I think it's important to really gauge the efficiency there. So if um, if you're going to have a learning curve, if you're not really comfortable with having the free version there, then um, maybe $97 makes sense for you because it's going to you're able to do it. So and, and note the Ninja affiliate. This is for um, for WordPress blogs, which is what I usually recommend for affiliates anyway. But but so um so that's what the solution's for. It's a plugin. So um I would say that you should go with that if you are uncomfortable with the creating the HT access file, which I'm going to describe in a second. And also if you're just looking for a time saver, I I've been using HT access for years. I'm I'm very happy and comfortable with it, and I don't see any reason to to move on from that. But um to each his own, you know. So anyway, um to create the HT access file, you'll need a couple things. One you have to get the affiliate link you want to redirect to. And in this case, I, I'm i going with, I'm an affiliate of Max Blog Press that makes the Ninja affiliate product. So I'm going, to create, I'm going to grab my affiliate link here, which as you're looking there, it's the top one. And, um, and what they do is they're running their affiliate program through ClickBank. So that's a that's a ClickBank link there. And um, and so you'll create that and then you'll, you'll, you'll copy that log, that, that link, blah, I'm just making nonsense here. Um, copy that link and then you'll create the HT access file and what that is is just open up notepad and I'm not sure what the equivalent is if you're in on a Mac but on a PC just open up notepad and um, this is sort of configuration for how you do it first you type in in a brand new document redirect then slash whatever you want to call the this file that's going to be the redirect file in this case I just call it ninja dash affiliate and then after that, you put the URL of the affiliate link. So you're telling this file that whenever you have a your domain slash ninja affiliate, in my case, it's telling it to redirect to that affiliate link. And you're going to want to save this notepad file just as .ht access. And there's no file extension there, just strictly just that that name. If you have .ht access .txt, it's not going to work. So um, so like I just said there, just um, don't use a file extension. And what you'll do then is to upload upload the the HT access file to your root directory on your where your website is. And so, if you're not familiar with that, it's the uh, just the the place that you first arrive when you log in by FTP to your site. So um, that's usually where you'll see the directories for. Sometimes they're pre-populated for images and different things, but just where like your main index file is and that sort of thing. So upload the the file there. And so this is a sort of a, the path of what the redirect happens in the case of the file that I created. So I put it up on my site, affiliatetip.com. So the, 
the URL there for the actual affiliate link I would use in a blog post or an email signature, wherever I might put it, is affiliatetip.com slash ninja dash affiliate. And so as you can see, the the link below it is, I guess, about 30% or more longer. So it's uh, the maxblogpress.com slash go.php question mark offer equals baby lounge, which is my username on ClickBank, ampersand PID equals 31. So you're able to just sort of circumvent all of that gobbledygook there. And so um, so after the the server tells the, um, the slash ninja dash affiliate that it should be going to the affiliate link there, it hits that and then it bounces over to MVP ninja affiliate.com, which is the, the ultimate landing page where the affiliate link points. So that's that, and this is the, the landing page that you end up on. So um, so it's a, a pretty quick and easy process in my opinion, but um, it's uh, whatever your comfort level is. But then um, speaking of the actual Ninja affiliate product itself, like uh, here's a, a blog post from last year by Tim Jones, the real Tim Jones.com. And he, and he was very excited about it, and he's still, to this day, many months later, is using it and very happy with it. And if you go to the the site there for, you can easily get there. If you'd like to get cookie by me, you can go to affiliatetip.com slash ninja-affiliate. You can just see screenshots and see all different features, but it basically just, it, it offers an interface where you can just easily create these redirects and, and just have a sort of some stats on it and that sort of thing. So um, so it's, a, it's sort of a, a trade-off what you're looking to do if you want to pay to have something easier then, then that's your router if you want something free and take some risks there with maybe taking on your site and and be aware that even if it if it cripples your site all you have to do is just delete that file real quick from your server and everything's back and fine so it's not like it's some devastating long-term problem but anyway so um my name is sean collins feel free to contact me and be happy to answer any questions and um that's it so have a great day, and I hope to see you at Affiliate Summit in New York City this August, August 9th to 11th. Take care and have a great day. Bye. There you go. So uh, thanks for spending some time there to look at this latest tip. And if you have any questions or anything, or you want to know how to do anything else as far as affiliate marketing from the affiliate perspective, just shoot me an email at sean at affiliatetip.com. And that's sean, S-H-A-W-N. All right, take care. Bye.